The career of Josh McCown is a picture, a wash in a rainbow of jersey colors. He now wears the green and white of the New York Jets, his latest stop in a long journey. There are a lot of people that didn't think the Jets might win three games the whole season. Josh McCown, first time in his career that he has won three consecutive starts. He's a very intelligent quarterback. He's a great locker room guy and leader. He's very good at helping the young quarterbacks as well as being able to play himself. Steps up, looks right, throws a bomb down the right, looking for Curse. He's got it into the end zone. That's a Jet touchdown. I always had an outside goal, like 10 to 15 years would be cool. I probably should have listed more things because here I am at 15 years. Besides packing boxes, my best attribute is the ability to learn an offense in a short amount of time. During his NFL career, McCown has had 13 different offensive coordinators. He could write a book. And maybe even a travel log as well. Pretty sure I can remember every spot I was whenever they told me, hey, dad's going to this team. We got to, you know, pick up and move. I think I've done Christmas in a different house like the past 10 years. Because this has been our lifestyle, this is what we've known, and this is how we've adjusted, and we've made the best of it. How do you capture a decade and a half spent traveling the NFL? In McCown's case, a picture is worth a thousand words. That week at my school was Spirit Week, and one of the days was Jersey Days. She shoots me a text, hey, can I wear your jerseys? And I, you know, just kind of reply, yeah, if you got enough friends. I am on the bottom left in the Browns jersey. He was playing for the Browns at the time, so I had to represent. We're out at dinner, and she suggests I should tweet the pic. I think it said something like, when your daughter doesn't have enough friends to wear all your jerseys. Some people were like, oh, he's bashing his daughter. I was like, no, because I thought it was funny. We don't think anything of it. It was something that kind of happened on a whim, but it turned into a pretty cool capture of my career. McCown's NFL odyssey began in Arizona as a third round pick out of Sam Houston State University. He started 22 games over four years. I do remember my first opening day start, Larry Fitzgerald's first catch, being able to throw him that. We had practiced all week and we were gonna throw a flea flicker the first play of the game. It was a heck of a catch. I just remember thinking, this guy's gonna be pretty good. Let's get some touchdowns. Stay calm in there, let's play some ball. My first win against the Minnesota Vikings. They were supposed to go to the playoffs and they beat us. It's fourth down at 24. McCown with the ball. This will be the last play. McCown rolling far side. McCown throwing into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown Cardinals! They pull, and the Cardinals win the game! Josh McCown with the play of a lifetime. It was the perfect fairy tale ending for McCown. Good work, baby. However, his story was only beginning. In 2005, he went from starter to backup when Arizona brought in future Hall of Famer, Kurt Warner. When I first came to Arizona, there'd be times where I'd watch Josh throw it, and I'm like, what are you doing throwing it? He's covered. McCown back to throw, gonna lock. Into the end zone, far side, Fitzgerald goes up, touchdown! Josh would tell me, you gotta understand that open is different for Larry. You got to just trust him. I know you don't like it, but just check through it. Throw it up to, throw it up to Fitz. He, the guy's 5'9". Fitz will kill him. The following year, McCown left the desert for the Motor City, where he competed with John Kitna for the starting job. Obviously, when you're in a competition, you want to win the job. So when it didn't go my way, I was frustrated. But the fun thing about that is I ended up playing receiver a few games that year. Josh McCown has just come into the game for the Detroit Lions, the former Arizona Cardinal quarterback. We're in a two-minute drill. I get lined up. He's up in the slot at the top of your screen. I run my route, and as I turn, I hook it towards the Cardinal sideline. I look over there, and Larry Fitzgerald and Anquan Bolden, they're laughing their heads off, like, look at this guy out here playing receiver. So wide McCown. The next week we go to Foxborough. We have a receiver to have a miscommunication on a route, and Mike Martz wasn't too thrilled about that. In a very quiet voice, he says, get your gloves. You're the third receiver the rest of the game. John and I were like, oh, we're going to do this. 
Back to throw is Kipnis. Steps up, fires left. It is caught there by Josh McCown. I was just like a kid out there. I was just lining up, and we were having a blast. Caught two or three balls. The quarterback who caught a few passes couldn't catch a break. He was traded from Detroit, injured in Oakland, replaced in Miami, a backup in Carolina, and by 2010 was out of the NFL. When you still physically can play, it's hard to necessarily move on. McCown became an assistant coach for Marvin Ridge High School in North Carolina. I still was around football, and it kept my mind in it, kept my heart in it. A coach shared a, a quote, you know, never let familiarity rob you of your joy. And I thought, man, maybe that's what happened to me in my first eight or nine years. When I got back in, coming into Chicago, and I just remember walking into Hallis Hall, I was like, man, I'm gonna really enjoy it. And so this back half of my career has been a gift. After being signed, released, and re-signed by the Bears, McCown had finally found the right situation. My third year there, they hired Mark Trussman, and I'm really liking the offense. McCown got his chance to play in 2013 when starter Jake Cutler was injured. And was able to have some success, long-awaited success that I really had chased for quite a while. Bitterly cold temperatures here at Soldier Field, the wind chill to five below. I just remember thinking, keep your hands warm. We got out there, and for whatever reason, my hands stayed warm, felt good. The plays were lining up, threw the ball well. McCown takes the snap, stepping up, up the middle, he goes to the five, dives into the end zone, helicoptered in, touchdown McCown. Josh McCown, four touchdown throws and a touchdown run. He had one of the most productive stretches of his career throwing for 11 touchdowns in just five starts. At the end of the season, he left as a free agent. Ready to the town's next two stops in Tampa Bay and Cleveland had their highs and lows. Here's McCown back to pass, looks and throws, and McCown got nailed. He was getting killed. It was hard, but it was cool. Watching him get up every time and go do it again. I don't know if there's really another quarterback that can go through that and try and keep the team together and still try and win. And he's still going, so it's awesome. McCown looks right, throws a bomb down the right side. He's got it! Perfect throw from Josh McCown right down the chimney. As crazy as this ride has been and all these jerseys and different teams and all that stuff. Ready to hunt. Man, it's been a fun experience. Thank you, God! Yes! Yes! yes. Yes! It may not be the 10 or 15 year career with one team that you hoped for, but all these stops give you great exposure to a lot of good stories. His career hasn't been picture perfect, but for Josh McCown, the clothes really do make the man. When I look back on those jerseys, I'm thankful because to me, they're markers of growth in my life just to have been able to sustain through a lot of ups and downs. It's a sign of perseverance. Getting to experience this league the way I have is special.